can you tease about the show and also can you tell us about your characters? Of course. So the show, uh, it's about these two best friends, Sid and Shelby, played by Landry Bender and Lauren Taylor, respectively, and they get the ability to time travel. Go backwards and forwards in time. You know how it is. Unstuck. And <laughs> uh, so in the show, I play Barry Eisenberg. I'm their next door neighbor. I'm a kind of young scientist, but I'm very kind of socially challenged. I'm like Einstein who can't talk to girls, which is my self-chosen tagline for that. And uh, and then I've we work out of this cool retrofitted RV, and I've got my trusty lab assistant. Naldo. I play Naldo, who... I forgot his last name Montoya. again. Montoya. Montoya. <laughs> it's Naldo Montoya, and I play Barry's earnest lab assistant slash best friend who helps him out with the experiments all the time. And basically, you know, we're always trying to figure out. In the second episode, actually, we figure out we're trying to recreate and see how how Landry and I'm, so, I'm, I'm trying to say their names in the show, but um, Landry, Sid and Shelby, Sid and Shelby, <laughs> Sid and Shelby slash Lauren and Landry who happened to stumble upon time travel in the first episode. So the second episode is pretty fun when we try to figure out that. So that's, mm. that's really fun, too. Now, if I understand correctly, it's all Barry's fault. Yeah, well, so it's, the time travel happens because they're in Barry's RV, and they decide to go poking around at things, despite my strict no-touching rule, by the way. And Good job. And they uh, end up getting the power to time travel from an experiment gone wrong, which is, it's crazy because it's, it's a huge life-changing thing, but it also gives us a TV show. So, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, is Barry going to try and fix it? Is he embracing it? Is he using it for his own advantage? Uh, What's going on? So, in the first episode, he's completely oblivious. He doesn't know that that's happening. Uh, but in the second episode, uh, Barry and Naldo have their stories all about trying to recreate it and trying to make it happen again. Uh, so that they can time travel and they can take credit for it. Yeah, I think it's really fun because, I mean, the ability the, to, to have the ability to time travel is really an astonishing thing. I mean, doesn't anyone wish they could time travel any place in any time on this earth? I mean, how cool is that? I mean, it's awesome, and it's. I think that that's what a big part of the uniqueness of the show is, is that you're not going to find a show that's a sitcom about time travel. It, it's oh, something not. that you don't find on TV right now, and that's. I think that's why we have a lot of promise, is that it's very original in terms of the story. Definitely. Since you're bringing it up, where would you like to time travel if you could? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Haven't been asked this question before. Um, I would probably either go into the future and just kind of live the good life, or uh, back like a week and memorize some lottery numbers or and live the good life. Or I would memorize a lot of history books, go back about a hundred years or a thousand years, just be gain a reputation as a future predictor and um, live the good life. Is there a moment or scene that you're looking forward for people to see from the show? Definitely a scene in the second episode. Um, you find out that Nalba likes to keep pickles in his hat, so that's fun. Uh, I... <laughs> I don't know, like, that, it was actually really why fun Why pickles? Shoot. Because he's a random guy. Why not? Yeah, why not? Hey, <laughs> pickles are life. Pickles are I good, think. man. Pickles are really good. Hey, each time, it was really fun to shoot because each time I would take the pickle off, and, you know, in the scene, I have to eat the pickle. Um, and then they would come and take it and put it in the they'd trash They'd take can. it before they would actually u not use that pickle anymore. He would take a bite of Out the, of the other, other side. End. I would just grab the pickle. He'd be like, hey, can like, I have it? And like, and okay, I kept telling him, <laughs> each time I would eat it, I'd be like, man, this pickle's so good. Like, it, was, it was a good pickle. Good pickle. They were good pickles. Yeah, you're right. You know what pickles are good on is hamburgers. They're good on hamburgers. Chick-fil-A. Pretty good. And my final question for you <laughs> is, do you have a message for your future fans? Uh, what about before, my past No, fans? future fan of the show. Ooh. And slash future. <laughs> future fans of the show. Um, um, before, you know, as they get ready to watch the first episode. Um... I mean, definitely just prepare for something funny and uh, just, uh, you know, what we want more than anything is to give you a show that you love and give you a, a show that's going to be fun to watch. And I think that's absolutely what we're doing with it. And uh, so just have fun and just enjoy it. Um, I think, you know, definitely watch it with the best friend because the show is all about friendship. You know, <laughs> it's oh, Gus. Um, but anyways, I think also... You should definitely be on the lookout for like things that you would have in common with like the show because since it's about best friends, 
I think you should definitely see the friendship they have between them and the, the real friendship that you have between your actual best friend because it's definitely a lot alike in the sense because the show's based about best friends. So. And it's relatable and it's fun to, to watch with a best friend and be like, oh, that's totally us or something. Totally. Uh, and also, if anyone asks your favorite character. Ornaldo. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Ha, ha, ha.